this is the energy vibration reading for um the capricorns for the month of august um 2000 and um 18 i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you all you wonderful subscribers i want to say to each and every person um please remember that this is the month this is the deck i'm using this month i'll be um thanks to sadie um uh, so uh, the light is a little bit on it but it's uh, um, the Tara Wonderland okay I'm using the Tara Wonderland for the general readings and also for the other readings of love career and that sort of a thing I'll be also using the smaller deck so thanks Sadie okay um thank you so much um, for returning um, you guys um, I'm, um, I've changed up the reading as you guys have seen I've changed up the readings and um, what is happening um, basically is that um, uh, sometimes the guides and angels ask uh, for new things different things to come in so um, the reading has been um, changed up now the energy vibration of this month is wonderful and it's going to be wonderful for you um, Capricorn so be aware of the energies that is in this month it is the energy of um, uh, the um, temperance now temperance is a hurt energy and with this hurt energy what is happening is that um, it helps you Capricorn because it's also an earth energy temperance is a Virgos Virgo energy so like um, the people who has uh, um, people who have Virgo um, sign um, in their zodiac chart and that sort of a thing it's going to be very 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 helpful to you guys so the month um, is temperance and uh, the helping um, that is there is um, the energy of uh, um, debt of uh, um, transformation okay so it's um, and you guys have the energy of transformation so this is wonderful whatever the situation is that is going to be happening in this month is good just going to be um, wonderful because you'll be able to deal with certain aspects and certain things okay so um, we're going to take a look and see exactly what is going to be coming up for you guys and we are going to be um, working with the energies to see how best it is for you guys to be basically um, connecting in this month okay I so 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 love this deck so thanks again Sadie please remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign please be aware and know that um, these are general readings so for a for a, a personalized reading um, you have to basically um, connect with me for a personalized reading okay so um, this is wonderful um what else uh, do I need to say um, this month is going to uh, be a month of five weeks okay five weeks this month is a month of five weeks is five long weeks I basically like a month with five weeks because um, there is the clearing of a lot of stuff that you can clear within the month okay I'm trying to look for your card and try to find your card the energy of your card as I, I speak to you guys please remember to listen to the Sun moon and rising sign because this is very very important especially the general readings because there's going to be a lot of information in the general readings for you guys okay um, I think as Capricorn you guys are going to love this energy vibration that the cards bring off um, because it is so um, positive it's a Barbara Moore Barbara Moore is really really good another thing I should say is that you guys must have seen that the general readings are different that the uh, weekly readings are different and why is it different is because the guides and angels want you to more focus on my voice and um, the cards instead of my face because um, it doesn't really help looking at my face basically <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm just gonna do the monthly readings are going to be done in um, with my face but the weekly readings are always are, are going to be done with um, with the um, with the camera on the cards okay because that's a very important so 
we're gonna go in and we're gonna look um, and see what is happening we're also going to use um, the animal spirit guides and I know a friend of mine is gonna say oh my god are you using that yes um, the guides and angels want us also to connect with our um, spirit guides or animal spirit guides because each and every person has animal spirit guides okay so here we go we're beginning um, the month of August for the Capricorns is going to be the energy of the hangman okay the energy of the hangman so it's a month of waiting in limbo and it's a water energy with a hurt energy so this is good it's as if you're about to plant something because hurt and water without water without the earth the water without water without the earth um, there is no water then nothing will survive okay so that is why hurt people and water people go together this is why um, the Taurus Virgo and, and and the Capricorns go together with the um, Pisces cancer and scorpion because they earth and water that's why um, these two elements go together okay so you have the energy of a water energy this is a Piscean energy which is the energy of the hangman and um, we are going to be seeing what is going to be coming out to, um, for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising for the month of August 2018 so we're calling up on the guides and angels for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising to show us the energy what is going to be coming out for August 2018 I'm calling in the universal angels, the goddesses and goddesses, uh, ascendant masters, universal beams to come in and show us the energy. So for the first week, um, there is a conflict that you're going to be winning. Okay, so the first week of August, there is a conflict that you are going to be winning, the five of swords. Okay, so let's see. So you have a hair sign in the first week and it has... Um, it could be with relationship because um, the first week in the general readings please go and listen to the general readings it has to do with love okay let's see what is coming out in the second week the second week is a two of cups so um, here it is uh, some of you could be having some relationship conflicts whether in business or whether in friendship um, so you can see that so we're asking universal angels to show us what's coming out in the third week for the capricorn sun moon and rising we have the energy of the king of swords whoever this person is is an aquarius gemini or libra if you're having a relationship with this person then this is the person that you're going to be having it with and if you are working in the legal fields um you could be having this out with um, and it's the end of um, your ending a conflict and your enemies are in the reverse okay so let's see what is coming out for the last week of August you're ending it yes so you're leaving everything behind and you're moving forward okay so your story and this is why you have the energy of the hangman in limbo because your story of August is the story of conflicts you end July and come in the month of August with conflicts you're having conflicts with relationship it's um, and uh, you know the king of swords is always about um, conflicts with legalities and that sort of a thing and um, whatever it is you are going to be winning this and especially for people who work in the legal fee and that sort of a thing and it depends on which one because um some of you are going to be um using the um using the um the communication the intellectual phone communication um to um deal with a situation okay um whatever happens your enemies are um in the reverse form which means uh, um, you are using uh, your intellect and your information to end the situation okay six of six of swords you would be leaving a situation behind okay so let's see um, what is happening in the first week going in the second week first week going in the second week you're working together with people to end and resolve a situation okay some of you could be getting an offer in work um, some of you could be deciding to um, begin to work with someone um, together okay so 
whatever the conflicts is some of you are working to get this conflicts uh, settled okay so um, it could be um, that um, there is a, um, a conflicts at home or conflicts in a family or a legal issue and that sort of a thing and um, you are working together to resolve the situation because there there are two people um, trying to um, resolve the situation now it is a man and a, and, and a rabbit so <laughs> I just so love these cards thanks again Sadie so um, as we move forward and we're looking at the second week going in the third week uh, we have the energy of a new start so this is good so as I've already said you're going to be winning this conflict whatever the conflict was or is you're going to be winning the conflicts because you're moving um, forward in your life okay so you with your intellects um, with the communication and intellect some of you are going to be winning whatever the conflict was okay as we move forward in the third week going in the fourth week what is it that we have we have temperance this is the energy vibration temperance is the energy vibration of the month so it comes back also in your month to help you in the third week going on in the fourth week because whatever that was transpiring whatever that was happening now is there um, a balance a new start and a balance and you're moving forward in your life okay let's see what it has the third week going in the fourth week third week going in the fourth week a uh, fourth week going in the fifth week um, you will receive a message so um, the fourth week going in the fifth week you will receive a message I love this um, this is the page of ones so some of you will be receiving a message okay and the message could be that you have defeat your enemies okay and um, the situation has now ended okay so this is good so you're handing the month of August saying and receiving a message that you have defeat your your enemies and now the situation is moving forward let's see what is happening because there are two people that is trying to work together and um, have a new start so we're going to see what is going to be the outcomes of that because some people you'll be working together with someone to have this new start and let's see um, if this is going to be transparent and this is going to be happening so the two of Pentacles yes you have made a decision okay what is so beautiful about the back of these cards is that um, whatever it's in reverse I know exactly because the energy of the rabbit face comes up isn't that beautiful this is most beautiful deck and um, and this happens because we were all animals before we become humans okay and this is something I need to do um, like um, I think I've done it in a video explaining shortly but I love these cards because it, um, it depicts um, the secrets of the universe and life as how it is and this is beautiful so when I pull a card I know whether or not it's upright or in the reverse form okay so the two of Pentacles you are going to be making a decision okay so you're working together with someone or yeah with someone else to make a decision over a situation um, for a new start and um, if you have going to make the decision um, that you're going to take this new start or it could be an offer coming in and you're going to say um, you know work on the contracts um, and that has to support the offer and you're going to say okay I take this deal okay all right as we move forward we have and um, we see here a new start and um, it has to do with some of you use your intellect and you're having a new start but you need to find balance okay some of you could be having a new start with someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or Libra that is over the age of 40 this could be some of you had a fallout with your father and now um, you know you're trying to balance out the situation and um, you know trying to work things out so let's see the outcomes of this a positive energy you have the ace of one so you have the page of ones and the eight of ones so this is wonderful because um, uh, the, the uh, whatever um, if you have said sorry or that sort of a thing or the person have apologized and that sort of a thing um, then you're going to be receiving a message that uh, 
um, the white flag that piece okay so um, this is good let's see what else is coming out now we see that you are trying to balance out things and you know you're protecting yourself from your enemies they're all in the reverse and a, a message is coming what is this message about what is this message about a victory and a success isn't this beautiful I love this uh, I've been um, working with them and it is just so brilliant so fabulous a victory and a success is going to come out so there we are looking um, whatever the situation is whatever the temperance is whatever that you were kind of balancing out and moving away from your enemies um, you're going to be receiving a message that you have overcome this situation which is just so fabulous because that is happening that is going to be happening in the fourth week so if it's a court case a legal matter or that sort of a thing in the fourth week um, you guys will receive a message that uh, um, you know you have win or a decision as made let's move on and see because some of you have been working on something you make a decision so some of you are going to change career some of you were uh, had in the planning to change career and a new start and let's see what is going to happen because you have make a decision and you're going to receive a message what is this message about what is this message about because you've made a decision um, and you have no regrets you've made a decision and you have no regrets over the decision that you have made okay and this is good because sometimes people make decision and then they're seeing they're regretting things afterwards and there's no regrets okay what else is here the message that is coming over a victorious win what is going to be coming out what is going to be coming out um, wonderful uh, judgment information is going to be coming out so this is good and seeing that it was a, a win a victory a win um, the information that is coming out is going to be vital because it's going to be helping you to move forward and this is going to be good so let's show the Capricorns for the month of August what is going to be the outcomes of their month Capricorns month of August what is going to be the outcomes of their month um seven of swords whatever the theft was whatever and whoever tries to get away with something it's not it didn't happen it's not going to happen okay so it could be someone tried to get away with something and um it didn't happen so that is that is good okay and the person that tried to get away with something it is the knight of wands okay so this could be an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius who tried to get away with something and it didn't happen so you are going to be having a huge celebration over this and this is good um, wonderful because um, some of you could have had a situation with this knight of wands whatever the situation is and was and whatever he has tried to get away with and I'm, I'm receiving it that if you were in business with this person this person I tried to get away with um, you know he was um, trying to get away with most of the business he wasn't being honest um, he was making sales and and not letting you guys know that sort of a thing it has something to do with um, uh, it has something to do with um, paperwork um, uh, it, it, it has something to do with the man has done something that was injustice it could have been that he has tried to take um, something very important documentation or that sort of a thing something very important um, he has tried to take from you or he had lied and tried to steal something and it has caught up on him okay so it's as if the whole month of August is going to be having to deal with a lot of situation and what is so weird and um, a situation of what is so weird about this whole month of August for you guys is that whatever the conflicts is you're going to be working together to resolve this conflict you're going to make a decision 
and the decision that you're going to make you're not going to have regrets over it because whatever the outcomes is uh, the seven of swords so whoever tried to get away with something whoever tried to do something that was injustice they're not going to get away with it okay now this situation has been resolved you have received this um, you have victoriously come out of this situation and the page of ones is here um, to let you know that you are about to have a new start okay what is so fantastic in the middle of this is that some of you are going to be receiving message of a new start okay and you need to find inner balance um, to deal with this I you have only one major arcana that is kind of strange but obviously this is what people are going to be going through in this month of August so okay let's go forward and look at the energies that is going to be coming in for um, the people 15 till 30 if you're 15 to 30 the general energies for you Capricorns is going to be the Empress okay so if you're between the ages of 15 to 30 general energy for you is going to be the energy of the Empress now when the energy of the Empress comes in um, with a page it could be that some of you are going to be finding out that you're pregnant okay some of you are going to be finding out that you're pregnant or some of you are going to be receiving message that you're pregnant because we have the page of Pentacles and the page of one some of you could be finding out that you have a miscarriage also okay um some of you could be finding out that money is about money is about to come to you okay as we look at the people between the ages of uh, um 15 and 30 in work and career nothing isn't going on and uh, you know and this is kind of strange but the card the card fell out you know basically this means that if you're looking for work and that sort of a thing uh, it's it's going to be a challenge for some of you okay so if some of you are looking for work and that sort of a thing it's going to be a challenge let's see what is coming out for love for the people between the ages of 15 and 30 for love we have the queen of hat whoever this queen of hat is um, it could be a mother okay the screen of hat comes up as a mother because it's for the people between the ages of 15 and 30 if it's um, um, if you're having a same-sex relationship or you're having a relationship you're going to be connecting with someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion okay someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion so let's move forward and look at the situation the night of oysters so we're going to be looking at the people between the ages we're going to be looking at the people between the ages of 30 and 40 the people between the ages of 30 and 40 in general um, there is going to be a loss there is going to be heartbreak and a loss so the Capricorns between the ages of 30 and 40 generally in your life there's going to be 30 and 40 okay they're going to be an art break and a loss okay let's move on and see what is going to be transpiring for in work and career and work and career you have the energy of the ten of Pentacles so work and career is going to be good for you guys okay so the loss could be someone could be dying the loss could be that you're receiving a message that you have lost something materialistic that sort of a thing um and um as we move on we're going to see what is in love for the people 30 years and over for you capricorns in love yeah I, <laughs> um in love you have the the seven of cups okay the energy of the seven of cups is that in love you people are going to be having a lot of suitors um, the seven of cups is the energy of having a lot of suitors a lot of people a lot of choices a lot of people who you can choose from so this is not bad basically um, because um, what is happening here is that um, basically um, in love you know there's a lot of um, suitors and there's a lot of people coming at you and this is going to be good let's look at the ladies over the age of 40 and older 40 and older what is there in the general energies for the month of November 40 and over what is there in the general 
energies in November you have the energy of the seven of swords the seven of swords so there is going to be a theft taking place okay so you have to be aware of this there's going to be a theft or someone trying to get away with something so, and 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 that is the same energy that is happening here there's going to be a theft that is taking place or someone trying to get away with something with you latest so it's going to be happening to the latest over 40 this conflicts and the situation let's see what basically is going to be the outcomes of love and career outcomes of love and career outcomes of love and career you have the energy of the four of cups now um, with the energy of love and career the energy of the four of cups okay um, what that is saying is that in, in, in uh, love and career work and that sort of a thing, you're going to have some regrets because some of you are going to decide to uh, change their career and you're going to be having some regrets. Okay. What is in love for the latest over 40 energy for love for the latest over 40 energy for love for the Capricorn, the latest over 40 temperance. Okay. So this energy of temperance keep on coming back um, it keeps on coming back and keep on coming back whatever the energy is and you know I've called this this is why um, it, it, the month of August is going to be a testing month okay let's see what else is coming out for the men over 40 in general the Capricorn men over 40 in general you have the energy of the magician Capricorn men over 40 in general you have all that it takes to make anything work for you um, the men over 40 in career Capricorn men for you have a strong uh, foundation a very very strong foundation okay let's see what is coming out for love you have the energy of the five of pentacles you men are going to have some regrets crying regrets wish that things didn't happen and that sort of a thing i basically i'm really not liking the reading but yes i can't change the energy but it's like a sad month for you guys it's a month of uh, and this is what I've always said it's a month of clearing up certain karmas and certain and these are all karmas you can see this this is just a karmatic situation some of you have had a karma at someone who's a, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay so um, you Capricorns because and, and, and that's uh, please listen to the general readings because there was a lot of information about the general readings you can see that this is a situation where you're releasing yourself or ending a conflicts okay you're releasing yourself and ending a conflicts and as I look at the ladies over 40 um, someone is going to try to do something I mean in work and career is that you're not going to be having any regrets whatever the situation is uh, there is you know it's as if okay you know that's it and um, in love you have to find um, temperance balance and temperance is the energy of the general energy vibration of the month and you guys have the energy of uh, the hangman in the reverse so it's a month of uh, um, you going through and you know where it comes up it's all about emotional situation um, emotional loss that is coming in okay I'm sorry but I find this so, such a sad reading so I'm going to ask a question um because I'm finding it such a sad um, reading so a friend um some of you could have a good friend that is going to become a lover some of you um, your ends in marriage could be could be asked some of you are going to start new contracts um, so this is what I've received so it's um, 
a new contract or um, new friendship is going to be um, made new bond in friendship is going to be made new contracts or new bond in friendship is going to be made and whoever this person is is going to become a lovers okay whoever this person is is going to become a lover so and this is just and remember people this is just a general reading but I'm sorry I got to do something for my Capri because this is just a sad reading it has nothing to do with my energy vibration <laughs> but it's just a sad reading I just need to know exactly what is going on for you Capri so let's see what else is happening there's a situation with the organization so some of you are going to be having new contracts so that was right then we have money um, some of you are going to receive money and then we have a new start so at least that is good and they're saying um, this is okay all right there's a lot of jealousy oh my god be careful guys there's a lot of jealousy there's so much jealousy going on so be careful I will also take a picture of this because I just wanted to clarify because obviously most of you are going to be going through conflicting situation and it's as if you're ending a situation ending a conflict that has been going on okay this is not bad because we have the ring and the tower which is the contract with a, a contract with a new company or a new contract or if you were waiting on a green light from a company for something if you were looking for a mortgage I'm seeing here if you were looking for a mortgage um, it's going to be good if you were looking for a green light in a company to say um, you were waiting for your um, something it's going to be happening for you okay um, let's say you have uh, um, apply at an organization and then all of a sudden they're going to say hey we had you on the list we need to have you now um, are you ready you know to start we want to send you someplace so, um, so this is going to be good friends and money it is always that uh, you're going to be um, hooking up with people with money okay you're going to be hooking up with people with with money love and a new start there is going to be a new start in love but I'm not I'm seeing a new start in love here for the people between the ages of 30 and um, 15 and 30 because the, um, if you had a situation with your mom that is a, a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio there is going to be a new start I'm seeing a child on a mother if your mom um, if if you have a child that is a um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you're going to have a new start okay so what is coming out here is basically good if there's a lot of jealousy so you Capricorns I'm, I'm asking you please I'm gonna take the picture of this layout and I'm asking you please be aware be careful because there is going to be a lot of jealousy and hate coming at you in the month of August okay because some of you are going to be standing up for um, injustice and equality and people are not going to like it and they are going to be um, basically coming at you okay in your general readings you only have one energy um, with money so there is only in the month of August there is um, no really supporting um, for you in in, 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 in the month um, in the first week going in the second week then there is one supporting energy that is um, that is here okay and um, in the third week going in the 14 there's another supporting energy but for the rest there is absolutely no supporting energies okay all right now, this is the box that it comes in and we're going to be using the animal spirit guides to hand this reading a lot of people have been asking for the zodiac part of the reading that I used to do. I'm going to be doing that separately, okay? All right, um, let's see. We're calling up on the animal spirit guides to show us what message is here for the Capricorn for the month of August 2018. What messages are here for the month of August um, for the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising? And I, I basically, oh, the lion. Oh my God. Yes, you go, guys. 
wonderful energy the lion the energy of the lion is wonderful okay as I've been saying to the other readers this is new I haven't gone through it because I've been so busy so for the first time I'm this is the first time I'm using this card so I'm gonna read from the book because I haven't totally gone through because normally I, I would read the book out um, to know certain things and um, I haven't had the time because I have been um, so busy so we're going to be doing this together and I find this deck to be a wonderful deck I've been um, doing the rest of the readings because I do the readings in chronic chronological order and I should say that I am so surprised um, because these this 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 animal spirit because the guides and angels have aligned me with this book because I remember um, Sadie donated and this was one of uh, um, um, the um, the deck that I got for you guys okay so let's see the lion it's a three hook so this is good for you Capricorns because this is an earth symbol um, a patient regards a complete master okay so um, you need to have patient and then you become a, a complete master okay it's just like a lion a lion sit and planned because he knows exactly which one of the deer he's going to eat and this is it I can't deal with I don't go to zoos because I can't my heart break just to see animals in cage so I'm like we're like that I, I can't do the zoo thing I, I, I just basically cry because I can't imagine myself you know so the lion is a master of the fire element yeah which is the Leo and the living mascot of self transformation and that's a Capricorn a lion personality depicts their lives to personal and spiritual growth this dedication inspires some and immediately after therefore the lion is respected by all but known intimately by few some mistakes the lion as a hard to assess or a lofter yet those with a keen eye know better lions are absolutely and they seal and persist in their words and action they do not waste energy or resources this card remind us that self mystery is available to all no matter where our guess begins when we are in balance the emphasis of peace and strength when out of balance withdrawn too serious uh, to bring in balance uh, daily meditation and having friendship is good okay so remember when you're withdrawn you basically um, when people are withdrawn um, I, you know because um, it's when you're out of balance so you need to balance out your energies okay so when you're withdrawn and closed yourself off to the world um, it is when you are um, in balance and um, a lot of Capricorns have that that sometimes you just need to be alone and you need to withdraw it's going to be one of those months where um, you're going to have the energy of the lion so it says you know this needs to stop or whatever the situation is I need to end this I can't deal with this I don't want to take it further and you're going to find that energy of the lion so it's not um, a matter of being withdrawn it is the matter of you deciding I need some time to really um, plan my next move okay it's, it's, it's just gonna be like that I need some time to plan what is my next mood but what I'm seeing here with the lemonian cards and I'm sorry I had to do and because a lot of people are going to say yeah because you're Capricorn you do a third reading but the rest of the reading was basically I didn't need to do this so what I'm seeing is this, is this conflict that has been going on this conflict that has been going on has taken uh, so much energy from some of you and it, that is going to come out in the month but it is because there is something beautiful that is about to come and there is so much jealousy that is going on 
okay there's a lot of jealousy so be careful so um I want to say to each and every person have a wonderful wonderful month and um, namaste for a personalized reading please um, subscribe but for a personalized reading um, there's a link below the website because I'm trying not to use clarity anymore because a lot of people are having issues with clarity so um, I want to say um, thank you namaste until next time